वेलकम टू ए बी सी रियल बाय भानु चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर थ्री मोशंस ऑफ द अर्थ दिस इज अ चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट एस एस टी जियोग्राफी दिस वीडियो इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर आम ए पब्लिक स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम प्रस्पेक्टिव In this video we are going to discuss question and answer of this lesson friends agar aap me se koi bhi new viewer hai jo pehli baar is channel par aaye hain wo please channel ko subscribe kar le aur bell icon ko press kar le jisse hamare aane wale sabhi new videos ka notification aap tak pahunch sake friends hamare videos अपने ज्यादा से ज्यादा फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर करें जिससे वो भी हमारे जियोग्राफी ऑल चैप्टर सीरीज का बेनिफिट उठा सके फ्रेंड्स हमारे वीडियोस को एंड तक जरूर देखें और हमारे वीडियोस को बीच में स्किप कर कर ना जाएं। आपको हमारे चैनल का कंटेंट पसंद आए तो हमारे चैनल की वीडियोस को लाइक करना ना भूलें हमें कमेंट करके जरूर बताएं कि आपको ये वीडियो कैसा लगेगा फ्रेंड्स आपको जिस भी चैप्टर के जिस भी सब्जेक्ट की वीडियो चाहिए आप हमें कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं हम उसका वीडियो अपलोड कर देंगे और आप हमारे चैनल से उसका वीडियो देख सकते हैं फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट चलिए फ्रेंड्स बिना कुछ देरी किए सेशन की शुरुआत करते हैं क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रोटेशन एंड रेवोल्यूशन एक्सप्लेन इन थ्री पॉइंट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज रोटेशन इट इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ द अर्थ ऑन इट्स एक्सेस द टाइम ऑफ द मोशन इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स It causes day and night. Revolution. It is the movement of the Earth around the sun in a fixed path. The time of the revolution is three sixty-five and six hours or one fourth day. It causes seasons. This is the difference between rotation and revolution. Question number two. What happened if Earth didn't rotate? Explain in three points. Answer of this question is: In such a condition, first the portion of the Earth facing the Sun would always experience day, and thus there would be continuous warmth in the region. Second, at the same time, the other half would always remain dark. and be freezing cold all the time third these are extreme which are not suitable for life thus we can say that if the earth doesn't rotate around the sun the life would not have been possible question number 3 what is equinox explain in three points Answer of this question is Equinox is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun fall directly on the equator Equinox is the position of the earth on 21st March and 23rd September both the hemispheres experience equal days and nights At this position neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun. Question number 4 what is a leap year? Answer of this question is a year which has 366 days is called a leap year. The earth takes 365 and 1/4th day to revolve around the sun. but we consider a year is consisting of 365 days and ignore 6 hours for the sake of convenience 
these six hours saved every year are added to make one day 24 hours in four years thus in this year february has 29 days instead of 28 days and the year itself has 366 days question number five Describe in detail about the circle of illumination. Explain it with the help of a diagram. Answer of this question is The imaginary line that separates day from night on earth is called the circle of illumination. It is basically the region that is experiencing Sunshine. This circle doesn't coincide with the axis. Question number 6. Describe in details about summer and winter solstices With the help of a diagram. Summer solstice. It is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun falls directly on the Tropic of Cancer. A large portion of the Northern Hemisphere experiences more heat and light. Hence, it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere. In this position, the North Pole is tilted towards the sun. During this period, days are longer then nights in the northern hemisphere winter solstice it is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of capricorn a large portion of the southern hemisphere gets heat light from the sun hence it is winter in the northern hemisphere in this position, the North Pole is tilted away from the Sun. During this period, nights are longer than day in the Northern Hemisphere. Question number 7. Why do the poles experience about 6 months day and 6 months night? Answer of this question is, the poles experience about 6 months of day due to the tilt of the earth on its axis. Because of this tilt, each pole is tilted towards and away from the sun for about 6 months each. When the north pole is tilted towards the sun, it experiences continuous daylight for 6 months. At the same time, it is night at the south pole. These conditions are reversed when the south pole is tilted towards the sun. Question number 8. Define the following terms. A. Orbital plane. The plane passes through the earth along its orbit is called its orbital plane. B. Elliptical orbit. An elliptical orbit is the revolving of one object around another in an oval shaped path called ellipse. C. Inclination of the Earth's axis and the orbital plane. The axis of the Earth is tilted at an angle of 23. 1 upon 2 degree from a perpendicular to the or orbital plane. This tilting of the axis is called the inclination of the Earth's axis. Due to this inclination, the axis of the Earth makes an angle of 66 1 upon 2 degree with the plane of the Earth's orbit.
for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. For more videos, press bell icon. Friends, SST Geography All Chapter Series Exam Perspective से महत्वपूर्ण है तो प्लीज आप हमारे वीडियोस अपने सभी फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर करें जिससे वो भी हमारी ज्योग्राफी क्लासेस का बेनिफिट उठा सके फ्रेंड्स आपको ये वीडियो कैसा लगा हमें कमेंट करके जरूर बताएं तो फ्रेंड्स मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड टेक केयर